We're already off to a good start this week. This is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one today. I think we actually have the audio working on a pre-recorded video. Uh, um, we're going to try it again, and uh, I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not lying when I say I'm a little bit nervous, but I think I got it. So, okay, good. Glad to hear it, Yos. Thanks for uh, uh, for joining us again. Uh, and I see we have a new person. Goodness, welcome. I'm gonna give this uh, give this just a few minutes, uh, and then I'm going to get started. Uh, yeah, we uh, we worked through some of the audio issues from last week, and uh, I think we're gonna do okay this week. I have a couple of really interesting things that, we're, that I'm going to be showing you, uh, and then uh, yes, your um, your uh, conversation that happened on Discord in the uh, in the general part there, that was some pretty cool stuff, and uh, and uh, it's funny because I am actually going to be talking about the custom dashboard extension just a little bit uh, today, uh, but uh, it was that's uh, kind of cool that you went and did that. Uh, that uh, PHP uh, code snippet uh, to do the uh, the column uh, locking those columns. That's pretty cool. And Kelly just popped in. So those of you who are new here, um, feel free in the chat to introduce yourself and uh, let us know where you're from. Uh, I'm coming to you from Northern California. I'm uh, just north of uh, San Francisco a little bit. And uh, like, I, like I said before, if any of you happen to be in the area and you want to get together sometime, I'd love to meet you. You're supposed to see the play button. So you see what you're supposed to see right now, Dennis. You should see me down in the corner, but you don't really need to see a large version uh, of, of my head. So um, people say my head is big enough as it is. So. Grab a drink here. North Carolina, huh? That's, I think, out of the 50 states... Uh, that's probably one of like five states I've never been to, and I don't know why, because uh, I hear it's absolutely beautiful there. If not a little humid. I love to hike. I love outdoor activities. Um, uh, Iowa, nice. I uh, I'm a Wisconsinite. I'm I'm in California now, but I'm a Wisconsinite, so uh, I'm pretty pretty familiar with the Midwest there, and and kind of miss the the Midwest hospitality. Things are definitely a different vibe here uh, on the West Coast, but uh, but um, yeah. Right. Yeah. Come in spring. Yeah. There are certain places that I will not go. I do not like the heat. Um, and uh, and of course I'm in I'm in California, which is uh, kind of an oxymoron. But we have this thing called air conditioning, and and I tend to use it. But yeah, I definitely understand uh, that humidity will get me every time, every time, just like knocks me out. And uh, like Dennis is in Florida, and I don't know how in the world he manages to live in that humidity. But I don't know exactly where Dennis lives. He might live by the beach, so it might not be quite as humid. I don't know. Um, so uh, today, I I'm covering a couple of things today. Actually, I'm covering the the uh, the dashboard um, interface um, or or uh, the display and and all of that. So how widgets work and 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 how you can customize it. A little bit of how you can customize it. Uh, and uh, if you have some coding chops, you can go in and and make it your own. And then um, the other thing that's really cool is. Um, I wasn't really expecting to do this, but it's kind of a bonus video, so I hope you guys stick through it. Um, uh, a Isaac on the MainWP users group 
uh, showed how he had configured uh, a Discord a Discord server so that he could get main WP. Uh, notifications on his discord server so uh you're gonna actually watch me even though it's pre-recorded you're actually watching me kind of live uh doing that uh for the first time just to see how it works and uh, i don't know i get excited about stuff like that um so i went ahead and recorded yeah Bre beach Bre figures dennis of course the beach <laughs> but uh yeah i get a little bit of the offshore stuff here so it doesn't get so hot uh at night but sometimes during the day we get pretty warm um but uh anyway that discord thing was pretty cool so i thought i'd shoot that video too and and see uh if i can make it work and you know if i can make it work then anybody can make it work so uh <laughs> anyway uh you'll you'll get to see a little bit of excitement on my part that i that i actually made something work so um let's see what time is it it is 904 or 1204 or wherever you are uh and uh i'm gonna go ahead and start in just a minute here now it is gonna take me a second just to uh i'm i'm gonna take it's gonna take a second just to get the video going but hopefully it won't be too difficult the other thing is you're going to see a third screen pop up and you're going to want to select that you'll see when the video starts which screen that you need to uh, pop into or maybe it'll be a second t I, it'll be a second screen not a third screen so there'll be two of me uh and uh, this one will actually go dark and then uh, the other one will go with the video on it. So uh, I'll be watching the chat during the video and you can let me know if the sound is coming through and all of that. Uh, I don't think we'll run into any problems. Uh, so uh, once again, welcome to those of you who are new and then uh, to uh, those who are returning, thank you for coming back. And then to the team here, uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for supporting me on this and joining me. Uh, uh, this, is, this is lots of fun once I get it going. So uh, here we go. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on Office Hours today. Today I'm going to be covering a few things in the main WP dashboard that you might not be aware of. Most of this is pretty basic stuff, but in version 5.0 there were some changes in the way that you can configure the main WP dashboard. And so I'm going to go over some of those for you so you can learn how to customize your own look and feel without it being too much difficulty on, on your part. Everybody has their own way of doing things and the things that are important and seeing the things that are important to them. And so I'm gonna just go over some of those features that uh, are available in MainWP 5 uh, and above. So the first thing that I wanna do is, as you can see, I've got a MainWP dashboard loaded up here. And this is just the default settings for my display. And there are some things on here that I might not want. This is a, you know, this is a fairly small uh, site. Uh, I don't manage a lot of uh, clients or a lot of sites and I just want to manage certain things and I just want to see things at a glance in my dashboard. And one of the things that I would like to do uh, when I set something up is I actually want to go and adjust the settings and decide which widgets I want to appear on my dashboard. Now um, this is something that uh, I was speaking with a customer uh, who actually has been a main WP customer for a little bit of time and fairly advanced. And uh, when I was speaking to her, it was really surprising uh, to her that each one of these page settings was actually different for each thing, uh, for each side menu item that we have in main WP. So for instance, on this particular, on the overview page settings, there are things here that uh, are not gonna show up on say the sites uh, page settings. And I'll show you that really quick. So these are the page settings for the, the overview. And then if I go to the sites, you'll see that the page settings are different and so on down. Um, and so in the, uh, in the main WP main dashboard uh, overview here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off a few things. For instance, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off monitors. Uh, in this particular site, I don't have any monitors uh, configured or anything like that. So there's no real need to have that widget show up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save those settings. 
And then if you look down below, you'll see that the uptime monitor that used to appear here is no longer there. The other thing that I'd like to look at is how I have these ordered uh, for me. Now, personally, mostly what I like to do when I'm looking at MainWP, and I think what most of us want to do is they want to see what kind of updates are available. So it makes a lot of sense to have this one not only as the biggest, but the first widget that you see. But then for me, being a small quote unquote agency, I might not want my clients here. But what might be important to me is my connection status. So I might move this above the clients here. And then as you can see here, um, you can see the, the beginning of the first site that I might manage here. And so I might actually want to make this widget a little bit bigger. So the nice thing about the way that this uh, that the main WP dashboard is configured is you can very easily resize your image and I'm just or your widget I mean and you could just set it to whatever size you want. So um, and and the thing that you always want to look for is that dotted line because if I let go right here you're going to see that it's going to stretch to where that dotted line is and so pay attention to where the dotted lines are and you're going to know how big your widget is going to end up being. In this particular case, let's say that um, site hardening. Well, you know, that's I'm going to put that over here. But I might be someone who does a lot of posting and things like that. So I might be more interested in my pages and posts. So um, I might not even want the site hardening there. Or I might want to lay out my recent posts. And once again, look for where that that dotted line is. And I may want to stretch this out just to have it kind of fill up the space. And then my recent pages, I might want to do the same thing. Of course, if you, you know, if most of the sites that you run, you don't change pages or anything like that. You may not want this widget at all. It all depends on, you know, how how things are. Also, this getting started with the uh, get started with main WP, I may not want that. So I might go here and turn that one off and you'll see that widget disappear. And then my SSL monitor, I can move here. You get the idea. Um, it's very simple. It's pretty cool and pretty, pretty straightforward. So that is what I wanted to show you with the dashboard. Hopefully that's useful to you. Of course, you can do what you want. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you, though, is I wanted to show you the custom dashboard uh, extension. And uh, the thing that's cool about the custom dashboard extension is you can actually create your own CSS uh, and, and make your dashboard whatever colors you want and everything. So um, the way that you deal with that is you go to your extensions. And as you can see, I've already got it installed and enabled. So you're going to want to install and enable your custom dashboard extension. And you just click on that. And this allows you to put in custom CSS code snippets. Now, uh, just for fun, uh, we actually have a GitHub page that has some examples of things that you can do. And I'm going to go ahead and, and install, uh, or I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste a code snippet. And then we're going to change some colors, and you can see how that works. Now, there's a lot more to it. I'm going to be the first to admit I'm not really, really uh, well-versed. I wouldn't say I'm not well-versed. I would say I'm not great with CSS. CSS is not my strength. So I can do the basics. I can show you how it is, but I'm sure that there are some of you out there that are like really good with CSS and you might want to change your whole dashboard to look exactly the way that, that you like. And I also know that uh, on the, the Facebook users group, there are, there are several people who have customized their dashboard with their own CSS and they'd be happy to, uh, to help you with that as well. So I, you know, I definitely uh, recommend uh, hitting up the, the Facebook users group from time to time when you have uh, issues uh, or when you have questions about CSS, because I've seen some pretty cool things that other people have done. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you uh, really quickly uh, how that works. So I'm on the GitHub page that has the main WP custom dashboard extension examples. And you can see that we have just a few here, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a look at this button color.css. 
And here it does. It brings up uh, some some CSS for you, and you can copy that, and then you can paste it right in here to your custom CSS code snippets. And by the way, you can also do things with PHP and uh, JavaScript as well here. So um, here we have our main WP UI, which is I believe that's uh, these uh, right here, your menu buttons in the left sidebar. And then you've got your buttons here and you can change the colors here. And uh, so just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and let's change uh, the color here. And I'm not even gonna use uh, um, hex colors. I'm just gonna type in blue. And oops. And then let's uh, make this one really ugly and make it red. Now um, let's go ahead and hit save changes. And now you can see <laughs> the colors are really ugly. And I'm also not a designer. Um, the colors are really ugly. Uh, I'm not a designer, but I do know ugly when I see it. Uh, and uh, and if I go to the overview, you'll see that all of a sudden now I've got these these bright red buttons uh, instead of the standard uh, buttons that we have. So the uh, the uh, custom dashboard extension is pretty cool. And if you are you know if you do have design inclinations or you want to add your own uh, logos and things like that into the dashboard there's some uh, code snippets there for that and uh, and you know go in have some fun and and make the dashboard your own uh, one of the things that's very cool about main WP is that you can do all these things and you can personalize it and customize it to make it how, uh, how however it makes you feel comfortable um, you know, I've been in workflow for a long time and I've always said, you know, create a workflow that works for you because everybody's different. And I would say the same thing here. This is, you know, create a look and feel that works for you. And uh, so these are just a few of the cool things that uh, we have going with main WP and uh, as far as the dashboard goes. And I hope that you enjoy this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fix this now because uh, it's hard on my eyes. So um, Go back down here, and of course, fixing it is real easy because all you have to do is remove that that code snippet. And of course, don't forget to hit save. And there you go. Now, one of the other things that uh, I will say is if you go and you play with the PHP code snippets, um, you're going to want to take out the PHP tag because uh, the uh, the custom dashboard automatically assumes that you're using PHP and so you don't have to put in the uh, question mark PHP uh, tag and all that stuff. So um, anyway, uh, that's uh, that's it for that. Hopefully you like it and thank you very much. The other thing that I wanted to cover today, which uh, this is kind of a bonus because uh, I wasn't expecting to do this, but um, on uh, on Friday, I think it was, uh, uh, one of our users, Isaac Russell, posted on the MainWP users group on Facebook. Uh, once again, uh, I can't say enough about using uh, the MainWP users group uh, on Facebook as a resource. And uh, he's done something really cool here, and I wanted to go over that and show you how to do it. Um, and, uh, and, and see what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and read this post to you. He says, I've been working on building a Discord server out for my own administrative use, as well as for premium support for some of my clients. I built this dashboard plugin that sends notifications to a Discord webhook when there are theme or plugin updates available or any of the sites managed by the dashboard. It doesn't reveal any site data and only sends one notification per version. It respects ignored plugin or theme settings at the site level currently. And then he gives you a link to go ahead and check it out on his GitHub repository. Uh, he also welcomes feedback. And 
I just want to share this because there's a couple of things going on here that are really cool. One is really cool that he's integrated all this with the, with Discord and giving giving us that. But the other thing that's really super cool is this is an example of of how the main WP community comes together and developers can come and and like enhance and improve a product that's out there uh, in in this case main WP which of, of course we love um, and and it's just so cool to get other developers involved and coming up with uh, unique ways in which they use main WP and unique integrations that they that they put in and then what's even cooler is that they go ahead and they share it to everybody so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do this um, I'll be honest, I've never done this before. So you're gonna to get to watch me do this for the first time. Let's go ahead and the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link here. And uh, let's see what we got here. So he's got uh, main WP Discord webhook notifications. And then uh, he, he goes ahead and he gives you actual instructions on how to do it. So this is pretty cool, it makes it pretty easy. Uh, I think we're gonna find out shortly. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to download the zip file. So I'm downloading the zip file and now that it's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and go to my WordPress dashboard and install the plugin. So I'm going to install the plugin here. Install. So as you can see, we now have uh, it installed and activated. And so let's go and look at what the next step is. The next step, now that we've uploaded the plugin, is to activate the plugin. And then we want to configure our webhook URLs. So the first, uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our WP config file. And then it's going to ask us to put these two webhook URLs inside of our WP config file. So we take these two defines and we're going to go ahead and copy them. And then I'm going to put them in my WP config file. Uh, and what you're going to want to do here is we are going to want to replace this section right here with our plugin updates uh, webhook URL, which we're going to create in the de uh, in the Discord uh, server. So I'll show you that also. So before we do that, then let's go ahead and let's go into the uh, Discord server. Let me bring this over. Okay. And so we're going to add a Discord server and we're going to create my own. Uh, we'll just say for me and my friends, and I'm going to call this, uh, let's just call this, um, you know, main WP uh, notifications. Okay. Eh, I'll just call it Marks. Marks main WP. So I'm going to go ahead and create that server. And now I'm on Mark's main WP right here. And I'm going to want to create a channel. So let's create a text channel. And we'll call the new channel uh, main WP notifications. Okay, so I'm going to create this channel. And then in my settings, I'm going to want to go to integrations and I'm going to want to create my webhooks. And as you can see, it's created this webhook. I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy the webhook URL. Okay. So now I should have, let's double check and make sure that we have our integrations. We've got our webhooks, view webhooks. Yep, sure enough. So everything is good here. So now that I've copied that, I should be able to go back to, let's uh, copy this again. I'm going to go back to my uh, main WP dashboard, uh, my actual uh, WordPress dashboard, and I'm going to add this into my wp-config.php file. So here I am on my WP dashboard, and 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit the WP config file. And I'm going to go down here and I think I'll just put it right here. And then I need to put in my uh, webhook URLs. And of course, I copied and pasted this, so I need to go uh, back to my Discord and uh, and recopy my webhook URL. So go back to integrations and uh, go here, copy my webhook URL. And, uh, and, and the other thing is, uh, because um, I don't really care if both my theme and my plugins go into the same channel, I'm just going to use the same URL for both. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and save and close this. So now, theoretically, now that that's in there, um, I think I did have an update that uh, was uh, needed on my main WP dashboard. So I'd be curious now if uh, I get any notifications. Oh, but it's only the WordPress. I only have a WordPress update. So what I really need to do is I need to put in an old version of something. So let's go to, I think I have an old version of contact form seven. There we go. Old version of contact form seven, install. Okay. And now, now if I resync, it should show that I have a, an update that needs to be done on contact form seven. And it does, it shows that I have two plugins that need to be uh, updated here. So let's see what those details are. Oh, and WP code light. Okay. So now that I've done that, I just heard a couple of notifications come in. And sure enough, look right here. It actually shows up as, uh... <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> So, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that is so cool. So, uh, Isaac, this is, uh, I don't know, to me, this is, this is, uh, oh, this is an old person's term, but this, this uh, kind of tickles my fancy. So, <laughs> this is so cool. So, um, anyway, uh, and, and it worked. I mean, it worked. Now, once again, uh, if you want to have a separate channel for your, um, for your themes from your plugins, you can just go through the same thing here and create another text channel and then create a webhook for the um, for the theme URL and uh, then your themes will come through in a different channel and uh, anyway this is this is just cool. So I hope you enjoy this. Thanks Isaac. Um, this is this is the stuff that makes a, a lot of us uh, just like love open source and and love what we do, and uh, I, I can't tell you how uh, how awesome this is. So uh, if there are any other of you out there who like to get a little creative and have some creative ideas that you've thrown out there, feel free to share them with us because this is the stuff that, uh, that keeps us, uh, it actually keeps our creative juices flowing too. So uh, you give us ideas, and I can't tell you how much stuff like this is appreciated. So um, uh, I may be a little effusive on this now, uh, but uh, it's, it's just pretty awesome. So thanks a lot, and I hope you guys enjoy this. Well, what'd you think? Thanks. <laughs> I was happy that everything worked. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool too. Um, are there any questions that anybody has? And I see that, uh, yeah, I see that, uh, uh, Boyan, uh, put in the, uh, put in the GitHub links there for you. So thanks, Boyan, for doing that. Uh, I couldn't do it during the video because my actual web browser is on the same screen as the uh, video presentation that I was showing. And, uh, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> so you would have seen me go and grab that link in the middle of the video presentation and that wouldn't have uh that would have looked a little clunky so um anyway uh i i hope you enjoyed it uh, i enjoyed making the video and in, in case you couldn't tell uh when i got it to work and and uh it worked like the first time you know once i worked through a couple of the issues there as you saw i was it was very exciting i was I, i'm still like a kid in the candy store when when uh something works uh the first time around i i get very excited so uh you know it's just so cool to me to see people contributing in in uh in in ways and and yes you said uh you said that you've already made some improvements so i'm gonna go in and and uh and toy with those as well no uh that's that's fine i'm not a developer either but i like to see what other people do and i i certainly definitely like to uh i'm very capable at lifting code and throwing it into you know to do things and then make modifications to to make things the way that i like it uh to look for myself but uh uh, I did actually temporarily you know, uh, play with the uh, column uh, freezing uh, thing that you did with the, the custom dashboard, and that was pretty cool too. It, it works uh, really easily, and, and that's just a, a piece of uh, PHP code that you throw in there. So uh, I appreciate that. I may actually leave that in there. So um, I see Yosa's typing. Did anyone else have any uh, questions or anything? Uh, was there anything I could I, I can answer for you or one of the one of the uh, people here can help. Oh, okay. So Keith did that. Cool. Very cool. Keith is another team member, and uh, he's he's pretty sharp when it comes to some of that stuff. So that's cool. So if uh, if there aren't any questions or any comments, um, you know, as usual, feel free to uh, contact us outside of this. Uh, that's what the Discord server is for. And if you have things that you've done that you want to share. Uh, feel free to share them with us. Uh, I'll, I'd be happy to highlight this stuff. This is the stuff that, that I love doing. So um, feel free to share with us what you've been doing and, and we'll highlight it and uh, you maybe even give you a little bit of credit for it. So <laughs> anyway, uh, if, if there's nothing else, then uh, that'll wrap up this week and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thanks everyone for joining and uh, have a fantastic day or evening.